Thank you so much for your company this morning. Toxic Mass is a one-man show brought to us by Christchurch comedian Cameron McLeod. It covers topics such as the death of his father, his first love, a diagnosis that changed his life, and the concept of toxic masculinity. <laughs> he is here right now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Cameron. Yes, welcome. Welcome. That sounded like a whole bunch of hilarity right there. Uh -huh. So toxic mass or toxic masculinity, what exactly does it mean? Um, I guess it sort of means to me mostly of this like socially constructed ideas and attitudes of what a man is supposed to be um, you know like quite violent and staunch and unemotional I think that's really like a Kiwi thing as well mm. um, you know I think maybe it was just me or I went to an all boys school and it's like very you know beer and rugby and woman and it's all that attitude and if you don't sort of fit into that mold you can feel quite ostracized and, and you don't fit in um, which can I think be hugely damaging like yeah. I'm you know 6'2 sort of broad shouldered guy but I like the All Blacks and RuPaul's Drag Race right so, <laughs> I love both you know so no, and great timing too because you know I guess the makeup of a man is under the spotlight mm -hmm. in the world at the moment mm -hmm. isn't it so you're shedding a bit of light on what it means for you speaking of that it's very personal isn't it tell us more about the personal side of the show for you um I don't know I guess uh, I the, the diagnosis will just spoil the show right. um, fair enough yeah, yeah cool so um, pay and go and see it yeah. I, uh, I, I have this syndrome called Kelman syndrome. Uh, it's basically where I don't produce testosterone uh, regularly, like normally, and I have to get it injected and stuff like that. Wow. Um, so growing up, I didn't go through puberty normally, so I looked like 12 all of high school, which, huh. as you can imagine, is fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Especially at an all boys school. At an all boys school, yeah. it was a, yeah. So I was sort of, you know, the runt of the litter at high school, and that's sort of tough, especially when men are supposed to be, you know, I, I guess what I look like now, sort of big and burly and, and mm. bearded and, and sort of that sort of thing. But I didn't look like that at high school, so it was quite a, a, a weird sort of journey and that sort of, you know, affected my relationship with, you know, certain people and friends and, and women especially. And so, yeah, it's kind of kind of impersonal. Wow. And cause, because high school is just such a seething mass of hormones. It oh, really, really is. Yeah. So how have your friends and your family reacted to the show? Are they learning things about you? Yeah, totally. So I guess because of toxic masculinity and this whole idea of like testosterone and I was just sort of ashamed about it all. So I just, my mum and my sister knew and no one else. So I didn't tell my auntie or, um, Actually, I still haven't told told her. Hi, Auntie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, it's funny. I didn't. I have two best friends of like ten years that I've known since I was twelve, and they didn't know. I didn't tell them because I didn't know how they'd react, and it's just a whole conversation. And but I got really passionate about the show, so I realised the first time I did it, I did it to like thirty people before I did it to them. They came to the show last sad day, and so they're just sitting in the audience finding out this information for the first time. Um, with everyone else. Wow. So when we watch your show, Toxic Mass, mm -hmm. we, do we do we laugh? Do we get upset, or do we go through that roller coaster of everything? I've sort of structured it so it's a roller coaster. It's it's Good. There's, there's jokes at the start, and then there's some emotional stuff, I guess, and some personal stuff. But there's also like I sort of make a point of like the emotional stuff, like out of. I talk about my dad and his passing, and there's also like weird, funny moments in grief. Like you can laugh at a wake, you know, like you tell mm -hmm. a nice story about a, a loved one, and, and you know, there'll be laughs and stuff mm. like that. And that's how we cope with things too, when we cope with those really, really awful things. Uh, you've also got a podcast too, haven't you? Called yes. Let Me Just Get This Right on McLeod Nine. Yes, nice. I get that nicely. <laughs> and this, this is what you say: the straight white dude who no one wants to listen to. This is how you describe it. So how's all that going? I guess so. It's good. <laughs> a podcast is weird. It's kind of this new fashionable thing and I feel like it's it, there's a lot of uh, straight white men just sort of pine not pine but sort of getting involved when I I don't know no one asked for the podcast I just sort of put it out there and hopefully people <laughs> like it um, and it's yeah it's based on uh, very loosely structured on um, the worst thing that's happened to you but we end on a positive and the best thing that happened to you because I think both things sort of um, make you who you are. That's a great mm. idea. I like that. Yeah, no, no. And did you ever imagine when you were growing up that you'd be a comedian? This is kind of where you thought you'd be? I, I don't know. When I was really young, I was quite funny. I guess I was the class clown. And then I went to high school and sort of got sort of, you know, uh, bullied, I guess. I don't, I don't want to make it a thing. But it's, um, you sort of get into the spot and I sort of shut down a wee bit. And then you leave high school and you realise, oh, like, you were totally in this bubble. 
and then you go out into the real world and you meet like-minded people. So true. And, and you sort of find yourself a lot more and I started opening up and realised, oh, I am funny, I guess, and yeah, it's just been a fun ride. So what's the best and the worst thing that's happened to you then? Um, okay, well the worst thing is, uh, slightly sad for this time of morning, is my dad passing away. Nice. Uh, that it would is. be one. Um, and the best thing is finding out about this diagnosis because it was sort of an enlightening moment when you're like, oh, I'm, I'm not like weird or there was this, you know, reason and um, it sort of, I could be, f f not fixed, but sort of there was a, you know, a, a something to... You managed. Yeah, and an understanding. Managed. Yeah, yeah, 100%. that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, it sounds really, you've, you've sold the show well. It sounds yeah. intriguing to me. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Cameron will be performing his one-man show, Toxic Mass, at Garnet Station tonight and tomorrow as part of the Auckland Fringe Festival. Tickets are available from iTicket. He's also going to be performing it at the Dunedin and Nelson Fringe and can often be found performing around Christchurch.